Hey, this is Ethan from Rhythmo, and let's talk about uh, the effect and resampling update. This update was rolled out to iOS a few days ago. Uh, now each group within the project has a dedicated effects section being controlled by these four knobs on top of the beatbox. For now, we only have simple default effects loaded, but we're releasing custom effects and global effects in about a week or two. So let's see what the knobs do. This first knob controls the channel gain. We got melodic samples loaded up to these two pads, and let's control the output volume with this knob. The second knob is a high low pass combo filter. This third knob is a simple reverb effect. Uh, the knob controls both room size and the wet mix amount. So let's hear this on the snare. And this fourth knob is a channel pan knob. The effects control a single group only, so if you apply a reverb on uh, group one, you can still have your other groups clean without the reverb. So say if you have an entire drum section to group one, but you only really want the reverb to apply to your snare, uh, this is when the resampling function can come in handy. Uh, so apply the reverb. That's probably good. Uh, let's hit this record button and record this uh, reverb snare. Hit the stop button and you can play it back. As you can see now, the snare has a reverb applied to it. You can export this resampled uh, sample by hitting this export button and you'll be able to navigate to your Rhythmo Lab save folder, the sample library folder, and we can rename this to uh, snare reverb. Now you should be able to access your in-app sample library and find the snare with the reverb applied. And let's go to the sampler page. As you can see, there's a good amount of white space from when we recorded the sample. So let's go to trim and trim out this additional white space. That sounds pretty good. Shift, trim, and we'll save the sample. And now let's kill this reverb effect. And as you can see, now we have a clean snare and a reverb snare. So that's all I have for you today. The effect application structure is in place and we have a bunch of other effects ready to be added to the app, uh, hopefully this week. So definitely stay tuned for potentially another update this week.